in this class we are going to discuss about beam search algorithm in artificial intelligence first point beam search algorithm is a heuristic search algorithm heuristic search algorithm means we will use heuristic functions heuristic function determines the cost from that node to the goal node if you see this graph so here s s elements are a b a heuristic value 9 b heuristic value 11 a elements are c d c heuristic value 7.3 d heuristic value 8.5 b elements are e and f e heuristic value 7.1 f 11 next to c elements are g h 65 e elements are i j 75.3 h elements are k l k 2.5 l here l is enclosed inside that double circle and the heuristic value is 0 so if a node heuristic value is 0 then we can say that that node is a goal node next to j success m n so if you see here a heuristic function value is 9 so this 9 this heuristic value specifies the cost from this node to the goal node so the cost from node a to the goal node l is 9 likewise the cost from node b to the goal load L is 11. Next, beam search algorithm is a variant of the best of first search algorithm. So, it is also similar to the best of first search algorithm only out of all the success. So, the node which is having the smaller heuristic value, that node will become the best node. But with a fixed memory size. So, if the state space 3 is very, very high. Then here in beam search algorithm, there is no need to check all the nodes just like breadth to first edge. So in breadth to first edge, level by level, first level 0 nodes will be searched. Next level 1, next level 2 likewise. In breadth to first edge, we will do like that. Whereas here, out of all the nodes, we will search only the few number of nodes. So that's why we can say that here the memory is fixed. The size of the memory is fixed. Next point, beam search he explores the graph by expanding only a limited number of promising nodes, which we can call as called as beam width denoted by k. So here we will explore the graph by expanding only a limited number of promising nodes. Let here the beam width that is k value is 2. Then suppose if a node explores, if a node generates several success, then we will take only the 2 success. Suppose if beam width value is 3, then out of available success, we will choose only 3 success. You will get perfect clarity while discussing this example. Okay. So next, let's see the algorithm for the beam search algorithm. Here, one variant of the beam search is local beam search algorithm. So, first point, local beam search algorithm keeps track of k states rather than just one. If you take best of first search, best of first search algorithm, we will maintain only one state. But here, instead of one state, we will keep track of k states let in this example k value is 2 so here we have to store two nodes initially what is the node yes here we have two types of list for solving this problem open list close list close list contains the list of nodes that are explored whereas open list contains the list of nodes that are generated okay so initially this yes node is explored so we have to place this yes node in close list. Next, this algorithm keeps track of k states. Here, what is k value? 2 value. So here, at a time, open list should contain only 2 states only. Okay. Here, what are s yes success? A, B. So now, open list contain A and B. So open list contains a list of nodes that are generated. 
So what are the generated nodes? A, B. Various closing list, list contains the list of nodes that were already generated. So this, this node is explorer node. Okay. Next point. It begins with K generated states. Here what is K value? 2. So open list here contains 2 states. So this algorithm begins with K generated states. So that means we have to store 2 states here. So this open list contains 2 states. Next third point. At each step all the success of K states are generated. Okay. So here what are the, what are the nodes in open list A, B? So now we need to generate the success of A, B. So what are the success of A, B, C and D? What are the success of B, E and F? So we have to generate the success of both the states. But out of available success, we have to choose only best of two success. That is the next point. If anyone is a goal load, here this is not the goal load. If it is the goal load, then the algorithm halts, algorithm quits. Otherwise, it selects the K best success from the complete list and repeats. So here, here what is C heuristic value? 7.3. D heuristic value? 8.5. E 7.1. F 11. So out of these, two, these four values, what are the two best values? 7.3, 7.1. So 7.3 is nothing but C value. 7.1 is nothing but E value. Now we have to place those two nodes in open list. Now what are the explorer nodes? Yes. And this A is explorer now. This B is also explored. Yes, C, A, B. Okay. So now, now <coughs> C and E. C and E nodes are generated nodes. So now C and E will become C and E will become explorer nodes. C and E will become explorer nodes. Now we have to we have to focus on C and E success. Why? Because these two are the best nodes. So C success are G H. E success are I J. Here the values are 6, 5, 7, 5.3. So what are the best values? 5, 5.3. So 5 means H. Next, 5.3 means J. Now let us write the closing list notes. Yes, A, B, C, E. So now we have to place these two notes in closing list. H, J. Now we need to generate the success of H and J. Why? Because those two are explorer nodes. So what are the success of H? K, L. Next, what are the success of J? What are the success of J? M, N. So out of these four values, what are the two best values? So 2.50, K, L. So if you see here, if you see here, if you generate L, if you generate L, then what is L value? L heuristic value is 0. So that means L is the goal load. So now we got the goal load. So we can fit the process now. So here the point is instead of storing one state, at a time we have to store two states. We have to generate the success of both the states. But we need to store only the best to two success in the open list. Okay. So likewise we need to do the procedure. So the major advantage of the beam search algorithm is it is very very efficient. So the memory size is fixed. Why? Because there is no need to explore all the nodes. Here out of all these nodes, we are, for, we are exploring only these nodes only. So when the tree is very very high, when the state space is very very high, then if you use this algorithm, then the memory size is fixed. The major disadvantage of this algorithm is it is not optimal. So that means it doesn't guarantee about the best solution. It doesn't guarantee about the best solution. Okay. We may get worst solution also. And one more disadvantage is it is incomplete. It is incomplete. So that means it doesn't give guarantee about the solution. We may get the solution or we may not get the solution. Okay. That depends upon the these nodes. Okay. So this is about beam search algorithm. 
please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends